Hi guys and welcome back to Game Premier Cox Gaming Fork here. Now I just have uh, ordered uh, this uh, replacement of uh, joystick for the 2DS. Now this is just a quick one. Now uh, before we start, uh, I'm just about to uh, sell it. As you can see, it's just uh, replaced the uh, screen protector and also an added uh, uh, a case, a back case, crystal case, and also the pen it has a damaged one. So I got the old one replaced by a new one so this is going out and there is a new one in here okay so although uh, it has the uh, different color but it's not an issue it's not really uh, an issue with the pen for being different that's, that's okay so you can see it's almost the same color so going back to this before we start we're going to open this and uh, yes uh, we need to open it from the back side of the unit because um, it's uh, the, the screw or the, the lock are at the back so before we start uh, the tools that you need of course you need the replacement now guys this is a, a cheap uh, spare parts uh, nothing to worry about there's a lot on eBay or if you have um, uh, your local uh, online mine I have a different online uh, platform to order so I ordered this and after three days, three to four days, it came. And I, I think we have a video that we unboxed or all my package last uh, Wednesday, spare parts Wednesday, as I newly uh, called segment for the game premiere. Now, I hope you can hear me better. I'm just uh, using the phone's mic, so bear with me. Now, really quick, uh, all you need the tools is you need the, the uh, Phillips screw driver. It has the four, it's like the cross and also a flat screwdriver now this flat is just to open the case okay I'm wearing a gloves because I might scratch something here so here we go so we're gonna open on this now by the way guys I might cut some of the videos when uh, especially we're on the on a dead air that we're not just uh, or taking uh, too long for that uh, particular uh, troubleshoot so uh, expect a shorter video uh, on the outcome okay so here we go uh, I already uh, remove the four Phillips screws. You need a tiny one. Remember that the tiny, the, the small, the smallest uh, uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, it has four Phillips here at the bottom. So you need to remove that. Remove the pan for a while. Now the cover that we uh, that we need to remove first will be on the upper part. So this is this is where the flat uh, screw will be used. Okay, so there is a. A tiny gap there for you to open it okay so here we go now this is a lack uh, not lack but uh, a lock a lock screw where when we're trying to open it, uh, it it stays in there okay so two of them on the top cover so using this okay so as you can see there's um, a little bit of um, hold on this left one okay so here we go so it's easy as that. Now, if you're thinking um, there's some residue or something, that's kind of gross, right? So you just put alcohol. Uh, it's not a battery lick or something. It's just uh, because you're using this. Kids are using this a lot, so it might be a sweat, a moist, you know, all that uh, a kid can do with their consoles. So um, now we're all thinking that um, the next Thing to remove is the uh, the lower part of the, the case but that is not the, that is this is a um, this is part of this upper cover so we're gonna remove again Phillips this time I'm just gonna open it without cutting the video so uh, of course you need to remove the battery first so this has um, a unique battery for 2ds it's not the same as the 3ds now as you can see I can feel that there's some uh, wear and tear like um there is a little bit of a chance that that this battery will be changed soon so but for now it everything is just a little bumpy but it's okay all right so this will stay no replacement so we got one two three six Phillips screw if I'm not mistaken now we're gonna do um, like a time-lapse on this okay here we go to the normal run um, after
after the time lapse, I just uh, realized that my smaller uh, Philips has a magnet, a small magnet maybe, because it was not working before. When I tried to unscrew the first one, I use this, uh, I use this, uh, this uh, cutter, small cutter, the tiny uh, screw that you need to, you know, uh, you need to reach just to get out the the screw in there. But uh, on the second, third, and uh, down to the sixth. Uh, for some good reason the Philips magnet was working so thankfully now we're going to open it so remember guys when we open this uh, the first part will be the cover for the battery and then uh, remove the battery remove the pan and open this for first and this is one case and then uh, before you lift this you need to unscrew six small screw on the left and right left and right of uh, 2ds now remember uh, you need to have a smaller if you have that uh, magnetic thing that will be better okay so always remember that um, when you come across with this uh, don't force it don't force it when you try to pull it everything should be um, uh, smooth okay like like this you, there's no force that you need to lift this cover all right, so here we go. Because this is a disassemble. Um, it's like reversing the assemble line. And now remember, when you lift this, there is a ribbon uh, inside. So as you can see, right there. Now be careful not to tear that apart. So you're gonna use your nail, or you have a smaller uh, thing. Well, I'm just gonna use my nail. Open it. Now it's a clip. There we go. So it's a it's a black clip that you need to lift right there. Okay. Now the joystick is on that part, the white square. So uh, be careful not to remove this uh, trigger because it has a small uh, small uh, spring back that you might miss. So we're just going to be careful on the side railing and this is the volume part okay yeah, put, that, put that on the side now guys all the, the screws are on the same size but when you're inside it has a different color so it, there should be a, a, a specific size for it so here we go now don't mix up the, the, the screw I think this is a little longer than the, the black one so Put that on the side i'm doing this at night which is not recommended because if i miss something i'm gonna have a hard time ordering this or looking for a spare all right so as you can see the magnet is now working for some reason okay now removing this part okay so there is um there is a washer i can see that there is a washer, put that here where you can see it. Now if you have a white background using a mat or a placemat or a bigger uh, mouse pad, foam or anything, uh, it's better to have the white one. What I got is the black. So some of the smaller parts are in black. So I am not recommending to use a black one when, you, when opening 2DS. Okay, so there is a shape that we need to follow on the joystick. And also be careful with the tiny ribbon for the joystick, okay? Now we're just gonna try removing that. Oops. Now guys, uh, I need the timeline again. Uh, this may take a while, okay? Here we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, did I mention timeline? <laughs> it's time lapse. Sorry. Okay, so uh, we just removed the the joy stick or thumb stick with uh, the no rubber because my my kid uh, plays uh, Smash Bros. So he keeps bashing the the, the thumb stick. So it's gone. <laughs> All right. So it's a little late 
while doing this so I'm having a hard time uh, talking to you guys so just bear with me oh yeah uh, as you can see on the timeline uh, we just remove um, not really a washer but it's like a film it's a film it's just um, it has a cut on it because uh, you need to swirl to swirl in and then uh, I mean you need to swirl out to remove that and then uh, probably when we're trying when we try the new one we're gonna swirl in okay so this is the replacement it has the rubber now it's a hard rubber not really a, a, like a soft a soft uh, rubber it's a hard rubber I hope it's not plastic so there's a grip on it don't worry about that yeah it's okay so we're gonna go in this first this one first swirl in so you can see it's like a pac-man shape it has a mount so you need to swirl in from outside to get inside I hope you can see it on the on my um, phone camera see I'm swirling it not forcing it but just doing a 360 on it see it's back in now for the film part you need to use the cut swirl in okay because we're going back in so I guess we need the timeline no time lapse again okay <laughs> Uh, what I did to get the film because um, I'm, my concern is that you might tear up the, the film if you try to use this to swirl in so what I did is from the mount of the thumbstick I uh, swirl it using the thumbstick not the film you might tear the, uh, tear the film out I mean you might uh, damage the film so uh, it's in nothing to worry about now before you put this back there is a washer and this is also um, a thin uh, film, not a rubber. It, I think it, this is uh, for the, the slide. So it has this uh, smooth uh, swirl motion on it. Now, of course, don't forget the shape of this going in there. Let's try it. Let me just check. It's like um, it's like an oval, an oval shape. Now this is going to be tough. On this part, we need to cut the video. No more timeline. We use a lot of timeline on this video. Here we go. We're just gonna cut this this part right. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's a funny thing. Uh, I almost um, missed the or lost the spring for the right or the left trigger because it went out now remember if you did that when opening this um, where should I do that um, you need because there is a like a plastic like a male plastic that you need to insert the spring back in first before you put the male to the female of the plastic board okay so in other words um, uh, be careful when you're opening this because you might lose the spring back for the triggers both of them okay uh, just remember when you're putting it back just insert first the spring and then make your waist uh, make your way very very careful going this plastic trigger inside of it okay so we're taking long on uh, recording this video but uh, this is all set uh, we're just gonna put this back everything and then uh, we're going to test it. We're back guys and I already uh, finished uh, returning all the parts, the case, all back in place. Now this looks like a new one, newly refurbished I should say. Um, but our thumbstick is all good, it feels, feels new. It's a smooth, smooth rubber, amazing replacement. So that's all I got for today and um, thankfully uh, everything is in uh, in place everything is working just fine I already tested it so that's all I got for today and thank you for tuning in to Gamepreneur this is Fox Cameron Ford have a great evening and happy weekend goodbye see you on the next one hey Persona Q love those those kind of games huh JRPG alright bye